in Madrid and in Spain in general, it's very common to give presents. And I thought it was beautiful. I had two suitcases, tiny apartment, because it's Europe, and uh, I didn't need anything else. So all of our friends started buying presents for each other, and we realized that this would be a really easy and great way to give gifts. Um, that is actually where I came up with the idea for Wishlist. It originally, uh, enjoywishlist.com was only about giving presents to each other, but we found that a lot of people want to buy these for themselves because we vet them for quality, for safety. Um, you also get a little bit extra on price. It's always uh, a little bit cheaper to go through us than to go directly to the vendors. So um, it's kind of turned into a general experience site. Not only can you give great experiences to your friends, but sometimes you want to find the best whitewater rafting company. It's really easy just to go to our site and that's going to be it. Valentine's wish list um, kind of came about uh, coincidentally because we were um, putting together getaways wish lists, which were basically romantic escapes throughout the state and usually added in a few other activities like four wheeling or winemaking, uh, brewery tours, things like that. And it just fit really well for Valentine's Day. So we kind of took the effort that we put into our getaways wish list, applied to Valentine's Day and um, made some romantic offerings for people all around the states. And that's for two people. All of those experiences are for two people. Uh, the way it works is when you fill it out, if you send it to yourself, it's really simple. You'll just get the email and you can pick what you want. If you send it to someone else, you can choose the date you want it sent, uh, send it a little creative message, you know, happy birthday, John. When we launched it, we were very concerned about uh, being perceived as a group on our living social because I think the value proposition is totally different. But on paper, it'd be easy to confuse. Um, as the years gone on, uh, it, it just isn't as important. I think group on living social have moved away from doing a lot of really cool things. Now you see a lot more retail goods and cupcakes, but even to address the similarities um, that exist today, uh, yeah, I mean, when you buy through Wishlist, there is a price advantage. Um, it is, so it is always a, a good price that you're getting, but that's not really where the value proposition comes in. I think the big advantage is the fact that it's choice. So you buy your friend an adventure wish list. Um, you don't have to tell them, hey, you're gonna go whitewater rafting. You give them 20 choices and they get to pick what they want. Maybe they wanna go ice climbing, maybe they wanna go um, rock, uh, rock climbing, mountain biking. They can kind of pick what they want, which adds a lot of value, as well as all the vendors we use are vetted for um, quality and safety. We contact more of the, the top rated, we have the top rated whitewater rafting company and the top rated um, massage uh, provider, as well as 5280's best facial. I mean, no, we try and go after the best ones and that's turned out to be really great. We chose Colorado because we love it. Uh, we wanted to, in addition to it being an outdoor state and providing a lot of great activities and a really active population, I, I loved it here. I wanted to come back here, give back to Colorado and try and get some exposure to these local companies.